Hello there, this is Sam with Jams and Bros, and today I'm going to be doing a little mini mock review. This is just a little project that I kind of threw together. This isn't really much of anything, it's just a little experiment of mine, I suppose. I decided to use the figures from that Lego compatible pack that I got a little while ago. You can find the review of that on my channel. I think it's uploaded by now. <laughs> I can't even keep track of my own uploads anymore. But, <clears throat> pardon me. So, yeah, today is the 72nd anniversary of D-Day. And I'm probably way late in some time zones, but I figured it's better late than never. It's still technically the 6th when I'm recording this in the time zone I'm in. Now, of course, it's going to go up later than it was actually recorded. But this is as good as it's getting. I'm not exactly dedicated to making YouTube videos. So, yeah, this is a pretty simple build, honestly. And, yeah, I'm just trying to get a good shot for the thumbnail here. It's not really part of the actual build. In fact, I'll move that scenery stuff over. And so, essentially, this is a small-scale beach landing. I didn't actually use my landing craft in this one. You see it's uh, over there. And I can't get it to focus. There we go. So I guess I had the old one for practically a year because I remember on the 71st anniversary I had one that was white and looked more like it belonged on a big ship. But yeah, this one's I consider it to be considerably better. That was kind of redundant. I can't talk. But, uh, yeah, you can go find the review of that on my channel as well. And so, yeah, basically this is just a very small-scale build of part of the beach. This is where the sandbag bunkers would generally be, but I've actually made them wooden. This was more or less uh, just an experiment in building on top of cliff sides, I guess. I don't really have any mountain pieces. But I did what I could. And so I used the uh, German minifigures from the, com the LEGO compatible pack. And then I used the helmets. Uh, those were also German helmets. I guess they were supposed to be Fallschirmjäger helmets. Because they don't have any form of neck guard. But I figured they'd make good American helmets. Because currently I'm using all of the uh, actual American helmets on a different project of mine. And I'm not willing to go around and scavenge for all of them. It's just tedious and unnecessary. So, yeah, it's... Goodness, my camera does not want to focus. But yeah, these are the torsos from my Pacific Theater film. I don't know how many of you guys have seen that, but a lot of the bodies have, like, bullet wounds and everything from that project. So yeah, there's basically just a kind of a rugged wooden wall here. And I think this is where the minefield would be. But yeah, there's just some dark tan and some brown pieces lining the cliff side. And then on the cliff, and behind it, we have the German forces. And I'll lay all the minifigures out so you can see them all, but you know, I've just done some basic building on the cliff side. That's the sniper right there. There are several like different layers of defense, I guess. And there's uh Staircase, I guess, to the top of this emplacement. Yeah, this isn't very detailed. This was mostly an experiment and just a way to use all those uh, minifigures I got from the big pack of them. So, I suppose I'll lay out all the minifigures. Again, I posed the question to you guys. I don't think any of you guys really answered it when I uploaded the uh, review of those minifigures. Uh, that video, but do you think I should use, since I'm running out, I've, I'm just running bone dry of uh, yellowheads for whatever reason, I've just completely run out of them, I practically don't have any that suit the era. I've got some with like, you know, uh, sunglasses, but those don't exactly fit within the World War II era, so do you think I should also be using the uh, flesh tone heads, because I think it might be an interesting way to do it and it allowed me to use a lot more minifigures and make it a lot more detailed but at the same time it might look weird so I want your guys' input on that uh, I understand that 
there might not be a lot of people watching this five minutes in while I drag this thing out, but, you know, just wanted to ask that. So, I guess I'll just kind of lay the minifigures out as I go. So, a lot of the parts are from, like, certain themes, I guess, I don't know. I kind of stopped caring about what heads I used for the fallen American soldiers that were already lying dead on the ground. So, yeah, some of those heads aren't exactly top-notch. I mostly saved them uh, for the German minifigures. I wanted to make them look as cool as possible. So, yeah, if, uh, if you guys have any questions about the origin of any minifigure parts in this set, just go ahead and ask in the comments. So, this is all the American minifigures. Their torsos came from that uh, one Toy Story little green army men set a long time ago. So yeah, just a few heads. I think this one, this one came from another Lego compatible pack. I'm sorry, I am a trader, but what are you gonna do when you're on a student budget? Are you gonna save up and buy citizen brick torsos, like two of them, and call it a day? Or are you gonna buy an almost equally well-detailed well I guess, set of torsos for far cheaper and face the risk of your legacy being destroyed. However, when you have a channel as small as mine, nothing's going to happen because your viewer base equals just about nothing. At any rate, I want to thank you guys who actually do watch my videos anyways because it's you guys that really count. I mean, yeah, I like keeping track of subscribers and all, but in the end, it's really the views that matter. So we have that, and then uh, I guess let's set up the German minifigures now. I'm not really going to be showing off like the torso printing much, because honestly I already showed that in the minifigure review that I did for them. Basically all I did was replace the heads with um, cooler looking ones, because they all kind of had the same head. And it's funny because that head that they gave all of them actually looks really cool. It's uh, one of my more favorable heads. It's actually the same design as one used by Lego for like uh, certain Star Wars minifigures, I think it was. Probably some like Hoth officers or something. So, yeah, the trouble with these minifigures is their legs, actually. The legs don't stick to the torsos very well, which is one flaw. Well, they do they do it well enough. The real problem lies in the fact that the bottom of the legs with the holes in it, so you can place them on the studs of a plate, get kind of obnoxious, you see, because they stick way too well to that. To just like, you can make them sit, and it'll be really hard to get them off. And the grip, they have a stronger grip on the base plate, the legs, than the actual torso that they're supposed to be attached to, which is kind of a shame. But I guess I'll just quickly pan over these German minifigures. Despite their flaws, I think these guys are really cool. And, um, yeah, I think I'll just about close it off right there. I'm sorry this video turned out so long. I understand if you don't really have the time for this kind of thing, but I just wanted to show you Die Hard fans, which uh, minifigure parts and everything I use. So yeah, I think that'll be all for now. Thank you guys as always for watching. If you've made it this far, I'm very proud of you, and also you've probably got way too much time on your hands. So with that, I'll see you guys later. Stay classy.